someday when I no longer live in an apartment with coin laundry, I will do my laundry whenever the heck I please and it will be wonderful. Hello friends. So one of the main things on my mind this week is the upcoming event that is going to see Avengers Infinity War with co-workers who are mostly complete strangers still. I don't really know why I said yes to this besides, you know, me thinking that maybe there would be more than eight or nine people going. And also before I knew that the organizer of the event is quite a fan. You know, there are three different types of Marvel fans. You could say this about any nerddom, but specifically Marvel fans in this case. There are the casual fans like myself who enjoy Marvel and like to critique the films a little bit, but for the most part just watch them as superhero movies and recognize that they're probably not going to be as good as a lot of other movies a good part of the time. Then there are the I'm very excited and I will buy a ticket for the midnight premiere Marvel fans. And with the exception of the midnight part, that would be my sister. She very much likes Marvel, very much loves it actually, and is very invested in specific characters. But the third kind is apparently the kind that I am going to see the movie with, and that is the promises to scream and cry during the movie type of Marvel fan. What have I done? I don't know who all is going. I have talked to the person who organized the event a little bit, so I do know that a couple of her friends from out of state are coming to watch the movie with her which is cool, whatever. And we're going to go out to eat beforehand. It's on a Saturday, so it's not quite the midnight premiere, but it is gonna have a lot of people there. And my main concern is that I'm the casual fan. And the organizer is tier three Marvel fan. No, what have I done? I just, Desperately hope I'm not sitting next to anyone who is screaming or crying. Throughout my time living in Ames, mostly watching things by myself, I have become better at reacting vocally in the movie theater, partly because I listen to podcasts and watch videos on my own at home quite a bit, and I've become more vocal in laughter or expressing some type of approval, but I do understand etiquette when it comes to movie theaters and other moviegoers who aren't necessarily comfortable with vocalizations. It's just, it's the polite thing to do. It's not like a live theater event where the people on stage feed off the energy of the audience. This is a movie where nobody in the movie is hearing the reaction of anybody watching it. And there's something to be said for not being able to rewind or repeat something. And that's why I tried to be considerate of people in the movie theater. So am I a little bit nervous for this Saturday? Yes, I am. And I will let you know how bad or good it is. I do have hopes that it will not be that bad. But being the casual fan, I'm probably not going to be blown away by the movie, even if it's really good. I'll just enjoy it. It's probably not going to be a Black Panther or a Thor Ragnarok for me, because those two have been the most recent ones that I've enjoyed very much. And the rest of them, specifically Captain America movies, have been very meh for me. Superhero movies are just weird. <laughs> 